Are you looking to invest your money or to diversify your investments? Are you a new investor or you're somebody who's already in the market, who's already been investing for a long time? Whatever age you are, whatever category you are in, this video is for you. Now, today we're going to talk about five types of investments you can make in Ghana to change your financial future. Five types of investments you can make in Ghana to change your financial future. Now, this video is going to be a very detailed video, a very educative video. So take out your books and pens, your iPads, your notebooks, whatever you write or take notes in, and let's get straight to it. Now, if you like this video, if you like what I'm talking about, like the video to show me. And if you disagree with anything I'm going to talk about today, what you have to do is that you just come to the comment section and let's, let's discuss it. Don't forget to share it to your friends who might be interested in this topic. Now, this video is not financial advice. Remember to consult a financial advisor before you take any of the advice in this video. Now, let's dive straight into the video. Now, the first type of investment that there is in Ghana is real estate. I mean, real estate such as land, houses, buying and building of houses, apartments for rent, buying and selling of hotels, I mean, just selling of land is a huge business in Ghana. There's even something we call land banking. That's basically buying land in an area which is not developed, but projecting, but you are projecting that the land is going to appreciate in the future. And so you buy and you wait for the land to appreciate. So when it does, you sell and cash out. That's what we call land banking. Now when it gets to real estate, building apartments for rent, apartments for Airbnb, guest houses, hotels, all these things are part of real estate. Restaurants, offices, shops, it is a lot of money. So, but the issue with real estate is that it's a very capital intensive market. And so if you really want to enter into real estate, it's capital intensive. So if you don't have the cash, you can't enter into real estate. And so maybe for the partner and investor or however you want to go about it. But there is another type of real estate investment which is easy for those who don't have the money to invest hugely in real estate or they don't have the capital, they don't have the money, neither do they want to stress themselves with managing of real estate properties and all the, the stuff that comes, all the stress that comes with it, especially with tenants, where tenants will tell you, okay, the, what, there's no water, there's no electricity, there's a problem with this, there's a problem with the building, and you have to now go and do maintenance, because all that is part of being a landlord. And so if you don't want that stress, and just want the income that comes from real estate, you can, you can look at real estate investment trusts or REITs, real estate investment trusts. REITs give you an, it's an investment package that allows you to invest into real estate properties without having to own them yourself. If you want to buy REITs, one of the apps I've spoken about on the channel, Bamboo, allows you to do so. So you can just search the video on how to invest in REITs in Ghana and then it gives you the chance to invest in REITs which are not in Ghana but in the US market and even the global market. And so check out the Bamboo app to do so. I have that video on my channel. Now the second investment is investing in treasury bills. Now what are treasury bills? Treasury bills are a safe investment. Basically when you have treasury bills, you, the government of Ghana borrows money from individuals in the country and then you get an interest based on the amount that you give the government. Now, a lot of the banks in Ghana sell treasury bills and there's a reason the Bank of Ghana gives, but each bank modifies it just a little bit to become more competitive. And so, all your banks that you know, that's GCB, Fidelity, all these banks you know, they sell treasury bills. But these days, there are, you can also buy treasury bills using Momo. And so, I have a video on that on the channel, you can check it out, how to buy treasury bills using mobile money. It's very simple, so you don't need to walk into the bank to do so with your phone. You just dial. But unfortunately, right now, it's only available on MTN, so sorry for you guys who don't have MTN. But if you have MTN, then you, you can easily do this. Now, why would you want treasury bills? They have 91 days treasury bills. You have 182 days treasury bills. At the time of shooting the video, the interest rate is around 28%. And so, you can do the calculation yourself. If you put 1,000 CDs in it, how much are you going to get? Now remember that this interest is per annum, which means it's for one year. And so if you take out the money before the one year, it means that you're not going to get this interest. You're not going to get 
the, 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 the interest rates. You get it as to be calculated up to the duration you kept the money in the investment. You're not going to get 28% take your money out before the annual. Now, treasury bills is a safe investment. That's why people like it. And then the interest rate is also good. And so you can start small and then be building it up as time goes on with treasury bills. Now let's go to the third one, which is farming and agribusiness. If you watch my channel, you know that we have an agribusiness playlist where we spoke about how you can invest in agribusiness, the different crops you can, you, can, you can grow and then the amount of money you get from growing them. Agriculture is a backbone of Ghana's economy. So because of that, Ghana as a, as a country uh, places agriculture at the forefront of the economic activities which are done here. And so, and then Ghana has a lot of arable land. And so anybody who is now coming to the country as an investor can look into agriculture. And there's a gap. The gap we have in Ghana is that the majority of our food, our vegetables, are all imported. And so anybody that can produce them locally at a good scale, if you time the market right, you're going to make a lot of profits. The only problem with agriculture is that you have to bear in mind that, I mean, there are climate issues. That is that the climate is changing. So maybe at the time you might be expecting rainfall. Rainfall might not fall. And when it happens, you will lose. But you know that crops need water to survive. And then you also have to bear in mind about labor and so many other things. I have a video coming out on the mistakes that you are likely to make as a, as a farmer, as a first-time farmer, so you can check out that video to avoid making those mistakes. But agriculture is a very good sector, it's a promising sector, it's a great future. And so if you are looking to do agriculture, it is, it is something I would encourage you to do. Just bear in mind about the risk. But there's also another side. I mean, if you are watching me and then you're not in the country, and then you want to still invest in agriculture in Ghana, there are companies that allow you to invest in agriculture without necessarily having your own farm. What they do is what you call it crowd farming. Basically, they allow you to give money to a farmer to invest for you. And then you share the returns. So that company is called Grow For Me. So if you look at the screen, you see there, you can check them out, go to their site and check them out. I think some of the projects they have on there currently are maize, soya, I saw soya bean. As, um, so you can check them out. Basically, you, you invest in their package, they tell you how much you're going to get at the end of their farming season. They sell the produce, you, then, you, then you get your share. It's simple. And so that way, you can still invest into farming without necessarily going there. Because, like I said, one of the problems that new farmers will make is not having the knowledge. And the knowledge about farming is everything. If you don't know, you don't know, and then you lose out. You lose a lot of money for not knowing. And so if you are able to get a company that allows you to, to, to do so, you can take advantage of it. But if you also want your own hands-on experience, you want to get into the farm, you want that whole vibe, that whole experience, to get a knowledge yourself, then you should do it yourself. If you need help too in this area, you can contact us. We'll help you to get started up in farming in Ghana. Now, the fourth type of investment is stocks and mutual funds. Now, basically, having a stock is having ownership in a business. There are, we have, in Ghana, we have the Ghana Stock Exchange, which is doing quite well. There is, there's a video we have on the channel about how you can invest in uh, MTN shares using mobile money. That is there. But typically, if you want to buy shares for any company, you need to go to a broker to do so. And so it makes it a bit cumbersome for someone who has not invested in the stocks in stocks before. But thankfully, now there are now apps that do all those things. Now in Ghana, if you want to invest in the Ghanaian stock market, you have to look at something like IC Wealth, IC Securities. They have an app, or they have a platform that allows you to invest in invest in the Ghana Stock Exchange. And they do all that for you. Ghana Stock Exchange boosts of companies like MTN, Ecobank, Farm Mill, we have Benso, Oil Farm. We have there are a number of companies on it which are doing quite well. But remember that investing in stocks is risky. And like any investment, you need the right knowledge to make sure that you are doing the right things, you are choosing the companies well. Don't just choose a new company just because it has a good name and it's popular or you like what you produce. You have to examine their financial statements, make sure that their projections are right. Make sure that you have a good brand image. There are so many things you need to do to make sure that you are investing in the stocks well. And so, you can check that out also. 
But then if you also want to invest in the US stock, ex uh, US stock market, that's the New York stock market, you can do that using the Bamboo app. They have a video on the channel about how you can use a Bamboo app to invest into the New York stock market. Now, you can invest in the companies that you know and love, like Google, Amazon, Facebook, I mean, all these companies. So don't, they don't just be using Facebook for free, Instagram for free, no. Invest into it also, so that's why you're using it, you're paying yourself. Mm -hmm. Invest in Netflix, invest in Tesla. Tesla. I mean, the, the app gives you all those opportunities. You also have an app called Rise, where it allows you to invest in a personalized portfolio made up of US stock companies. And so all these things are there for you. Now, the Ghanaian version, uh, which is Petra, achieved by Petra, also allows you to invest into the US stock market. So you can check them out. Check them out, um, try the apps, do your research well, choose one that fits into your current situation and where you are now, and then you keep on building up and you move. Now, the last type of investment is cryptocurrency. Now, if you just if you follow the crypto market, you know that Bitcoin just hits its all-time high, ninety-eight thousand um, dollars. Well, that's one Bitcoin, so about ninety-eight thousand dollars. Bitcoin is just rallying and climbing higher and higher and higher. Now, remember that cryptocurrency is very volatile. It can hit its all-time high, then go back and hit its all-time low. <laughs> I mean, it's so volatile and very unpredictable, unless you know what you're doing. And so before you jump into the crypto markets or the crypto space, make sure you do your research very well. And remember the crypto space is filled with a lot of scams also. When I say a lot of scams, I mean, there are a lot of scams that go in the crypto space, we call them pump and dump. So somebody will tell you that, okay, there's a this new coin coming, Bitcoin is so high, if you jump in right now, you may not make money, but then there's a new coin coming, it's called whatever, they give it a name and they'll tell you that, okay, let's, let's all join, when it, then when it makes it big, you, you cash out huge. But the problem with all those things is that when the guy is joining us on any investment, they pump it and then, they, then the early investors just leave when the coin is high and then you are left with nothing because the value come crashing down. And so if you want to even enter into the crypto space, I would advise that you enter it with coins which are already established, like Bitcoin. Now the other coins out there, I'm not going to mention them in today's video because I want you to start with something that do your own research. Crypto is something that if you don't do your own research, you cannot survive in the space. You have to do your own research and then build up the knowledge, read everything, watch all the videos, check out everything you can find on the crypto space. And after you have enriched yourself and got all the knowledge you need, then you can start. But there are, if you want to start buying Bitcoin as a first time, you can check out uh, platforms like Binance and Passport when they do P2P. P2P means that the app facilitates uh, two individuals buying and selling cryptocurrency to each other. And this is very simple. You just do a simple verification, the usual ID cards, answer questions, residential, those things, and then that's it, you are done. Now, if you need any information on how you can actually buy cryptocurrency using Bitcoin, you can check out for the videos, our video on our channel. We have a video on how to use Binance to buy cryptocurrency. We have a video on how to use Paxful to buy cryptocurrency. So you can check those things out. Now, now um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Come, let's meet in the comment section and let's discuss. And let's share to our friends. See you guys next time.